Hello, I'm Dr. Susan Shapiro, and I'd like to welcome you to 640. Um, this is an online class. This is going to be on Canvas. Um, the first thing you should know are there are some videos that I've posted on how to use Canvas. So if you're not familiar with it, I suggest that you take a look um, and really get to know it. And it's not too scary. I've been working with it for a while, and I think it'll be self-explanatory once you sort of get into the, the rhythm of using Canvas. The next thing is I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so I've been teaching 640 for a while now. I really enjoy this class. I love the fact that it has people um, from early childhood all the way through high school, through school counseling. I think it's a very interesting mix of people. Um, this is the first time I'm teaching it online. I've been teaching it in person now for a while. Um, and I'm very excited to see how it moves from the classroom uh, into the virtual world. Um, I love working with technology. And so you may see things um, in this class that will take you outside of Canvas. So you're going to see Flipgrid. You're going to see a, a few online assessment uh, pieces that I use. Um, and they will be posted um, on a semi-regular basis. So I don't want you to skip too far ahead when you're doing these modules. And in fact, I'm gonna end up turning them off so that you can't see them. So each time I can put something new on there um, and give you a new experience because what's gonna happen is the world is changing, especially in classrooms. So whereas most things took place on paper, things are now taking place a lot more in the virtual world, which is why I find it so exciting to teach this class online. Um, in terms of, of a professor, um, I'm very clear, I hope, in what I want. So I'm not trying to hide anything from you. The thing that you need to do with me is you need to follow the directions. Um, this is really important when it comes to assessment. This is something that we ask our students on a regular basis to do, is to follow those directions. And I'm gonna expect the same thing of you. So if you have an assignment that you need to turn in, my recommendation to you is to make a checklist of everything that I ask and make sure you go and check each thing off. I use a rubric and I stick to those rubrics. And that's a great way for you to think about um, this class. So it should be clear. If it's not, let me know. And that might be something that we can work on together as a group as well. Um, the other thing to know about me is I really don't like plagiarism and I will not accept it. You see that in the beginning of this uh, class, there's a plagiarism quiz. So I want to be completely clear about that. This needs to be your original work. And when I say original work, it means that you haven't turned it into any other class. You're only turning it into this class. If it's been turned into another class, it will come up as being plagiarized and I will not accept it. And more than that, you will fail this class automatically. Um, no second chances. So make sure when you're doing this class that it's your original work and it's never been turned in anywhere else before. Um, I really hope you get a lot out of this class. I hope that you um, really take advantage of your classmates because they come with a wealth of information. The biggest thing is when we think about assessment, I think a lot of times we think back on our own experiences and we get nervous and we get upset and we think about all those terrible times that assessment has been used against us. As teachers, when we're coming into this, this is a time to change it. This is a time to say assessment is about learning more about our students and helping our students succeed. And I want you to keep that in mind as you take this class. So I welcome you. I hope you have a good time and I hope you learn a lot. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at susan.shapiro16 at tora.edu. I have uh, access to Zoom and I will do Zoom meetings with you so you can see me online. You don't have to come down to 40th Street to talk to me. Um, and I want to be accessible to you, so I will try to return your emails as soon as I can. Uh, one thing to know is that I keep the Sabbath, so I will not be responding to emails Friday night into Saturday. But as soon as that's over, I will be getting back to people as quickly as possible. So uh, welcome, everybody. I can't wait to hear from you. And I look forward to working with you this semester. Thank you so much.